We are giant slayers. Oh, we are giant slayers. I got five smooth rocks for you. We they have made public slayers. declaration that I've sold my soul to Satan, and now they're gathering in their followers of Satan and you have these people they're partying on Friday night they're partying on Saturday night um, their houses are filled with their music not realizing that the, the music is filled with satanic symbolisms the movies you go and you watch are filled with satanic symbolisms you're worshiping paying honor to Satan the rain man and everything else, all the other demons, the bear moth and all the other demons, you're worshipping these demons when you sit down and you partake in their music and you partake in their movies. The movies and music are filled with these uh, symbolisms. But yet you're so blind and you're so stupid, you're, you, you can't see it. You, you have no understanding. You're so foolish. You cannot see it. And when somebody try to share the truth with you, you get offended. I do not speak to offend. I simply speak because I have a desire to see you come into the truth and stop allowing these false teachers and these false prophets to lie to you and to lead you astray. But I know that there is a remnant still in these churches, again, these circles of God, that Yah is going to bring out onto himself, that he's going to separate onto himself. And so when you hear this truth, harden not your heart because today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to you. You don't know if you're going to um, see tomorrow. So today you must repent. You hear this word, harden not your heart, but you must repent and turn to the truth. Yah has been merciful to you. He's patient. He's long-suffering. But once the truth has come, He said, now it's time for men everywhere to repent. You've been taught to call upon Jesus, but I want to tell you that the, the name Jesus isn't even biblical. It's not godly. It was put in the scriptures to honor an idol, a Greek god. But you will criticize me and throw stones on, at me for telling you the truth. I don't care. Uh, I don't have any friends anymore because they've all deserted me. I have maybe a couple, a few, and, and Yah is faithful that He has given me people that I've never met, but um, he's, just blessed, he's just blessed me in that we can relate, and it's as if we know each other and have known each other forever. But I will not be silent. I will not hold my tongue because I'm concerned about how you're going to think about me. Yah has raised me up to preach and proclaim His truth in these last and wicked days. And so He said, Outside are dogs, warmongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever love it and make it a lie. So you continue to follow after these pastors and preachers and Sunday preachers because you love the lie. Some of you love the lie. And they love to make the lies. They have made up lies. You think you're getting the word. You go in there and your emotions take over and you jump all over the place and you fall all over the floor and you think that you're receiving deliverance. No, you're actually being filled with more devils. I don't intend to be harsh. My intent is for you to hear me and come out of the falsehood. I love you. And that's why I speak the way I do. Now let's go to uh, John chapter 14. John 14. We're going to look at verse 21. Verse 21 says, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. You hear that? He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Verse 23 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, as a matter of fact, I'll read verse 22. Judah said unto him, 
not Iscariot, Lord, Master, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Yahushua answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and he will come unto him and make our abode with him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So he says, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And when we see that you love us to the degree that you will keep our commandments, he says, We will come unto you, to that man, and we will make our abode with him. The Ruach HaKadosh will dwell in you. And so, it is my prayer, my friend, that you will hear this word and that you will take heed, that you will repent and you will turn and begin to serve Yah in spirit and in truth by obeying His commandments. You know, James says, um, one says that he has faith and have works. He says, show me your faith and I will show you my faith by my works. Because faith without works is dead. Many people are exercising dead faith. When you say that the commandments are done away with and we don't have to keep the Sabbath, when the scripture plainly tells us that we must oh, on, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy and to keep His commandments. And you tell people that you can't, we can't keep His commandments. You're a liar. And the scripture says that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. And so, I encourage you to become a real kingdom kid. God bless you, and be it his will, I'll see you again next time.